Welcome back to Good Morning Maine. We're here with Allison Arbo. She is the dire Executive Director of Destination Moosehead Lake. Allison, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me this morning. Yeah, and you're here to talk about a very cool festival happening this Sunday, the, the Chocolate Festival yes. Annual. Yes. And it's the 19th year, correct? It is, yes. It's the 19th year. Um, so we're doing some new things this year. Cool. Uh, we're also very excited to be back after two years of having to do a COVID style drive through, you know, contactless um, chocolate festival. Right. We're really happy to be back and having this event in our community again. Yeah. So some changes we've heard. We were talking earlier, some yeah. live music will be yes. part of it, correct? Yeah. What kind of music? Um, so we, it's the um, Hunt and Allison Smith. Um, they do um, fiddle, and accordion, some like kind of folk music. Awesome. It'll be it'll be fun. They kind of do a variety of things. Um, so it'll be nice and they're gonna play for a little while, take a break, come back and play closer to the end um, of the festival. And this is all taking place at the consolidated school you said? Yes, and people yep. can walk in and pick their chew. What, are, what, are, what are people yep. going to see there? Right. Yeah, so um, what we do it at the Greenville Consolidated School. Mm -hmm. Um, and they, it's really nice because it's a way that you can come in and exit through different doors. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. So you can really come in. It's like a U shape, kind of a horseshoe Full of circuit. the building. Yeah. yeah, it was great. Um, so they'll come in. What they'll first see is the, um, after they pay at the door for the tickets, mm -hmm. um, you come through. There's going to be silent auction. We have free popcorn as that people can pick up. So you have, have salty and sweet going salty on. Salty and sweet, <laughs> nice. get your palate ready for that chocolate. Yeah. Um, and then you, um, and so there's a traditional silent auction. We also have a raffle silent auction. So you cool. can buy tickets um, for some various items. They're, you know, a hundred and under uh, kind of prices. Chocolate related items or no, anything? No, they're everything. Cool. We have, I mean, the, it's amazing what the community of the Moosehead Lake region they give for these kinds of auctions and um, community events. Uh, so we have everything from, you know, board games to, um, you know, our, one of our local winery, they gave a basket with a bottle of wine and nice. a couple glasses of uh, wine glasses and things that you would need to open your bottle of wine. I love those a good silent of auction. It's yeah. full of surprises. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then um, the more traditional silent auction has some bigger priced items. So a couple places, um, Appalachian Mountain Club gave a one night stay. We have wow. another one of our resort areas that gave a stay with their um, indoor pool uh, wow. privileges. Yeah. Uh, there's also rafting over in the forks, whitewater wow. rafting. So there's some really cool things. Uh, yeah. We also got some signed memorabilia from both Boston Red Sox and wow. um, the Boston Bruins. Uh, so we have a picture signed and we have a puck that's signed by yeah. players on the team. Right so now. it's really something for everybody. It if is. there's a couple and somebody's yeah. really like, I need to go get my chocolate fix. Somebody yes. else has something for them as yes. well. And with it's, we're lucky because this weekend, it's the second um, weekend of the annual Moosehead Togue ice fishing derby. Yep. Mm -hmm. Plus it's free fishing weekend. It's right. Great, so great, great weather for it yeah, too. It's so. going to be great. So yeah. there's, you know, while the guys might be out on the lake, um, kids and the moms and families can come and um, be there or, you know, whoever uh, right. th that they want to take a break, come get your chocolate. Yeah. Right. Um, Tell us a little bit where the, where the chocolate's coming from and, and what's the purpose of this event? Yeah. So the, um, the chocolates come from um, both donated from local residents around the Moosehead Lake region and our businesses. Cool. Um, a lot of the restaurants and inns, um, they really get into it. They're doing some one, uh, the Blair Hill Inn's making some like bourbon chocolate covered. Yeah. Um, caramel <laughs> treats um, th and some of them get really I, I don't even know some some people are still getting back to us on what they're making so there's gonna be some really um, interesting concoctions coming um, and then there there are around 40 different people are involved wow. and they're yeah. each making you know 60 to 100 pieces of chocolate wow. so we'll have around 4,000 pieces Variety. of chocolate that's going to be available. This will all help boost the area. It will. Yeah. And what we use this um, for is a fundraiser for Destination yeah. Moosehead Lake. Um, gotcha. And it's to help with our operations um, and our marketing. So yeah. making sure our visitor center is open. We are open for all four seasons. Um, we stay open. Um, and we also market that region. So, and it's not just, you know, drawing attention to get people to come, but it's also marketing to tell people about how they come to vacation yeah. in that region. Cause it's very vast, it's rural, very much an outdoor recreation space. Right. So there's a lot of information that needs to be given out. It's a destination folks. for so many reasons. It is. Well, and we're all out of time. Chocolate's yep. a good way to do it. We appreciate you coming thank down you, today. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Again, it's taking place Sunday in Greenville. So yes, head on over. at the Consolidated School. Yeah. All right, we're out of time. We'll throw it over to Devin Biggs for our full weather forecast.